So the flint lock, the way the mechanism works is you load a powder patch and ball down the barrel and uh, when you cock this back to half cock, that's considered safety on a flint lock. And instead of your modern firearms like we have today, which require a cat, uh, you pour a little bit of powder in the pan right here and you shut your prison. In the 18th century, this was actually called your hammer uh, and this was called the cock. Then when you pull it back to full cock, it'll, it'll click again and it's a piece of flint rock that's held in place here. So when you pull the trigger, it'll spark and that's what sets it off. There's always a little bit of a delay in your shot every single time. So with a flintlock, you have to keep aiming or otherwise you'll miss your target every single time. Now, the diversity of a smoothbore is the reason most guys actually chose a smoothbore over a rifle. You can load it the exact same way, powder, patch, and ball. Doesn't require a patch if you don't want to. Also, you can load it with shot as well. So you can use it for hunting ducks, uh, turkey, geese, whatever you want. And that's where we get the name Fowler at. Uh, so Fowlers were made and designed for hunting fowl with. So I'm gonna load it up here. So I'm using 70 grains of black powder. So I've got my powder measure here. I'm just gonna dump my powder in here. Dump that down the barrel. That's all that is. And then since this is a rifle, it requires a patched round ball. You can't shoot shot out of it. And, uh, and if you don't use a patch, it can destroy your rifling. So you wanna be really careful about what you shoot. There's the ball. It's just a 50 caliber lead round ball. You want to soak your patch pretty good. If you don't, it'll uh, it'll get lodged in the barrel, and then you won't be able to get the ball down. Put the rim rolled around. All right. Run it all the way to the bottom. Put your ramrod back home. Pull it back to half cock. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of powder in this pan right here. Doesn't take too much. All right. And then you can also pick the, the vent hole a little bit just to ensure it's going to go off. And um, we're going to try it with that. Pretty good. And that's basically how it works. <laughs>